Hi everyone, today I wanted to make a video concerning school again, but this time it's going to be more about um, the social aspect of school and how to tackle your anxiety when speaking to people and stuff like that. So I am a very shy person and I don't enjoy talking to people that are new and that I'm not familiar with, but you know, it's important to talk to people and be social and it's important to not isolate yourself while you're in recovery especially. So that's why, you know, my psychologist I guess always emphasizes, you know, I go out and do things or I talk to people rather than isolating myself because it's never good and all the bad thoughts will just come back if you're alone. So that's why it's important to approach people. Um, so yeah, my first suggestion for approaching people in school would be when it comes to class, uh, sit like somewhere in the middle or in the front, but don't sit alone in the back. Um, I did that all of last semester. I sat alone in the corner and no one would want to talk to me. I wouldn't want to talk to them, but it was very obvious they didn't want to talk to me either. I was just like the lonely girl in the back of the corner, you know, just chilling. <laughs> Alone. So uh, don't do that. Um, at least sit in the middle or something. Just, and then you don't. I'm not forcing you to talk to anyone or anything. But you're really not helping yourself by sitting alone in the back. Um, I'm gonna make a really big effort to change that this year. Um, and yeah. So while you're sitting in the middle in front, you can firstly ask questions. It gives a better impression to the teacher because teachers never like the kids who are in the back. I don't know why, but teachers never like the kids that are in the back. So, I don't know, if you're in the front and in the middle, they'll like you more. I'm not saying that you have to suck up to them or anything, but at least give a good impression. And so if you're in the middle or the front, you can ask questions. And, I don't know, you can ask questions if you're in the back too, but I know you seem more eager to learn if you're further up. And... So yeah, I really encourage you to ask questions. Uh, it'll like make learning easier for you, and it'll also encourage you to like practice talking in front of people and stuff like that. And if you don't want to ask a question from the whole class, which I completely understand, I don't like to do that either. Um, you can ask a person next to you, which might seem scary at first, but I promise it's not as bad as it seems. You know. Like, you could, it could be as little as like, oh, what page do we have to go to or something like that. But at least, you know, you're taking one step forward in talking in front of people. Like, I have social anxiety, and for me that's a big step just to sit in the middle or something. So, um, I don't know, or just say hi to someone next to you. you don't be friends with them or anything, you don't have to like them, but, you know, make the effort to show that you're open, you know, if you show that, I don't know, you're a person with life, people will want to, you know, interact with you, and I know that a lot of you will not feel like you want people to talk to you and stuff, but I promise you that you'll be thankful later, um, everyone tells me that, all the doctors say that, you know, you have to be healthy and talk to people and you have to do things, so, Saying hi is the first step forward to that, <laughs> and, and you know, you never know, you, you might become friends with that person or anything like that, um, or if that's too nerve-wracking for you, you could always, you know, um, I guess when you're like leaving class, you could talk to someone about what you just learned or ask a question then, um, otherwise, you know, just say hi to people in the hall, um, rather than like walking like that. <laughs> You know, you could at least like say hey to people that you know from anywhere and like, I don't know, just mm, try to s be more open-minded, I guess, and be more open and, you know, punch your anxiety in the face and take little steps every day, you know, just say hey to people, um, ask questions, uh, you know, and if you wanna, if you find asking a question to like a friend or something too intimidating, you can ask a teacher and 
teachers are meant to help and they'll try your best to answer your question. They'll be glad that you asked the question. Um, it shows that you're interested and it's good for you, it's good for them, it's good for everyone. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I guess that's what I pretty much have to say about talking to people in school and being social. I know that, you know, it's far ahead to like go to parties and you know, start going out with people, but the first step is just, you know, say hi to people, and then slowly you'll make friends from saying hi to people, you'll find people that you have stuff in common with by talking to them, and, you know, that's, that's how it all gets started, and then after that it'll come naturally to want to hang out with people, and you'll get invited to parties and stuff like that, once you find your group of friends that you have something in common with, and that accept you for who you are. And when it shines through you that you accept yourself for who you are. So I hope you guys found this advice helpful and I wish you guys the best of luck in tackling your anxiety and your shyness because I'm doing it too and we're in this together. So good luck and stay strong. Bye.